Hello and welcome back to West Brom Fan TV. Now a lot of these videos are being done when I'm scruffy, just came home from the gym because the news comes absolutely out of nowhere at the minute with us. So last night rumours on Twitter were spreading around, Connor messaged me as well, Phil will be on it, um, but it's likely we're going to, that we're going to pick up a number nine this week. Now I've heard the rumours, people are saying Kiefer Moore, Jay Rodriguez, but there's one player that it does seem most likely to be. Um, now, 28-year-old striker, he played for Cardiff last season. A lot of you that went the away game will know who he is. Um, Sorry, Cabba. He's, he's a big, muscly, attacking presence. He's a, he's a decent player, to be honest. He scored against us. Um, in 17 appearances last season, he scored eight goals. Um, and the thing is, we're not the only team in the hunt for him. Apparently, the likes of Leeds, Watford... And even Spanish side La Palmas are uh, interested as well. I hope they got the pronunciation. I can't speak the pronunciation right there. Going to say I got the, got the hard one right and I got the, the easy word to get wrong. Um, but yeah, this sorry Cabba. I think he'd be a decent fit, to be honest. I mean, Asante is the energetic, lively force. And if he's got Cabba next to him, that'd be brilliant. I mean, we know DK is in and around the squad, but obviously he's injured at the minute. And also, I think that... Cabba seems to be a lot more of a leaner striker, if you get what I mean. Whereas DK is just a, a, a pure brute force. With uh, sorry, Cabba, he's quite slim, a little bit more agile. Obviously, he can win a header, as we've seen um, the game against Cardiff last season. Um, so yeah, it's all all these rumours that came about really because he's only got twelve months left on his contract with Midland. I want to say I am pretty sure they are a definitely a Scandinavian side. I'm trying to think which area of Scandinavia they're from. Um, I'm pretty sure they're Swedish, um, but yeah, he's a, he seems like a top top player, and only 17 appearances and scoring eight goals. Um, obviously, he didn't have um, didn't play out the full season. It was just the second half. That's pretty impressive. He he did really keep Cardiff up in a way, and I think that yeah, I could definitely get behind him. I could definitely see him at the Hawthorns. Um, he seems like a top, top player. Also, the news yesterday that Connor put out about Palmer is fantastic, isn't it? We're all absolutely delighted about that. Alex Palmer, he's a baggy through and through. And come on, if he's going to go to a team, he's not going to go to Little Luton Town. He's surely going to go to a, a big dog like, um, I don't know, uh, a, a Nottingham Forest. There you go. Um, so, yeah, I know I'll get a few nibbles about calling Luton a little club, but oh well. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, we'll keep you informed and stuff. This might get announced. Who knows, really? Literally, news comes about thick and fast. Well, yeah, thin and fast with it, literally. Um, it's crazy at the minute. There's so much happening since it's been a dead window uh, for the majority of it. But yeah, these last two weeks. Anyways, um, I'm going to round it off now before I start waffling on about different stuff. Um, up the Albion, come on you baggies, and we will keep you informed. Fingers crossed, we get it. Up, we get someone in at least before Blackburn because we are desperate for a striker. Cheers, guys. Right, um, just editing the videos. There's a couple of things. First of all, he's from the Danish league at the minute. Midtjylland are not a Swedish team; they're Danish. And also, um, in the comments, FPL link. Get joining. Bit of fun, really. Um, we'll see who can come out on top this season. Obviously, you're going to be facing off against the likes of me and Collar, and are absolutely. Phenomenal football knowledge. I mean, look at me. I should just manage West Brom. Carlos Corbran, step aside. I'm coming in. Um, but yeah, free to enter. Get down there. It's a bit of a laugh. And um, yeah, who knows who's going to win it. I mean, it'll probably be me, but yeah. Get down. Get in there.